Hello, this is the Lego Wizard, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Lego minifigure year by year of visual history. This book was released in 2013, and it features every minifigure since the beginning of the Lego minifigure in 1970 something. And we were going to have a quick flip through the book, check out the exclusive, check out the minifigures that come in the with the book. And just look at the book overall. So the Lego minifigure year by year visual looks pretty good from the cover straight off. You can see on the cover it shows different, uh, the Lego minifigure, how it's evolved over the years. Like you can see the classic spaceman up in the to top corner. You can see the forest man a bit below him. Batman, Ail Sakura, and Max Solar Flare at the very end. And yeah, uh, you can see that there are three exclusive minifigures included in this book. The town's person at the top. Stormtrooper in the middle, and the Wobber at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to take the minifigures out in the video, but I'm going to show you a closer look at them later. For now, let's just take a quick, quick, quick flip through the book. As you can see, the thickness is almost all of it's taken up by, well, a bit under half of it's taken up by the, just the padding, the, the packaging the minifigures come in. And yeah, so here we, you can see is the first page, and it just shows four different minifigures all lined up and how they've changed so it looks pretty good there Just skipping a, a few pages ahead you can see this cool looking line of Lego minifigures table of contents and from then on it goes into like what's the Lego minifigure the timeline and then for the rest of the book it's just flipping through all the different years and what's go gone on in each year like in 1981 you can see that the minifigures uh, had Lego Shell introduced in the hospitals, 1982, they had a uh, train, postal, and then flipping even more, you can see Lego Adventures in 2003, Harry Potter, uh, you know, it just it gives you some small information, like these boxes, first appearance of droids, and figures that you don't see much often, like droids, which don't t technically count as Lego minifigures, those here as well. And yeah, it's just, it's just a nice book showing everything you need to know about how the Lego minifigures evolved. It doesn't show every minifigure, but the most important ones from those years are here. Lego Spongebob and Exo Force, ones that are very hard to find nowadays. Lego Batman in 2007, more Lego Star Wars, and this is what the headers look like, the section headers. So this is for the 2010s, the section this video was made in, 2016. and. Yeah, in 2010, since 2010, the minifigures gotten a lot better. You know, like Lego, it shows past Lego seasonal, and yeah, for anything that's just different. At the end, you can see things like computer animated minifigures, uh, and then Legends of Chima, and you can see it just goes through the best Lego minifigures, Lego DC, Lego Ninjago, and then the index at the end. And yeah, the Lego minifigure year by year visual, it was it's really fun to read. I'm currently just about to read the two thousands section at the moment. And yeah, so at the back you can see more minifigures. Con continuation of the previous page. And yeah, so now let's take a HD look at well a, a closer look at minifigures. So the first minifigure is the Lego Towns person. He has a Han Solo style hair, he's on a red shirt, and he's got that basic Lego minifigure smile which is seen on all of the first LEGO minifigures until 1990 and you can see he's just got some basic red clothes, yellow hands and, the, and that Hansel hairstyle so that's the Townsperson minifigure next we've got the Stormtrooper this is the first vis version of the Stormtrooper I don't know whether it's the very first because I can't tell if it has a yellow head underneath the first Stormtroopers did have yellow heads though later on they just went blank and they gave them black heads and now they have the new flesh toned. So you can see the Stormtrooper. He's got no Lego printing. The first this variant, this Lego Stormtrooper, you could see has the uh, mouth. It looks a bit different. Uh, and you know the the newest Stormtroopers, the mouth is a lot more dipped. And people don't like that nowadays. But yeah, the, the Stormtrooper head mold for the actual helmet hasn't changed over the years. But yeah, and that's the Stormtrooper, only the printing's changed. So yeah, a basic Stormtrooper. And the most different one out of the bunch is the Wobber. I don't have many LEGO cities, so mine most might be just saying that because of that, but 
yeah, the Warbird just got basic uh, brown, dark brown legs, uh, gray hat, and the back torso uh, and the front torso, which you can see a bit of part of the arms. Back printing, none on him. Stormtrooper has some very detailed back printing, and this guy just has more rips and tears in his jacket. And this is a Lego minifigure year by year. This is a great book to read, especially uh, if you want to know more about the Lego minifigure. It has, like, even the first one, like the pre Lego minifigure, where it was just more a statue than a Lego minifigure. And yeah, this is a Lego wizard. And if you have any other suggestions for videos for me to do, make sure you leave a comment below. This is Lego Wizard. Have a nice day.